I'm not sure if you know who Joe Rogan is. He's a UFC commentator. He has an extremely popular podcast. He's on numerous uh, television shows in the United States. And basically, he covers the subject of UFOs uh, sometimes on his podcast. And there's a video online that has, I guess, over 40,000 hits at this point um, where he basically states that you're gullible if you believe the UFO stuff and that because there's lots of videos of you talking on the subject on UFOs on the internet you must be making money off of speaking on this subject and perhaps you're only in it for the financial rewards of, uh, of speaking on the subject so because that video it's one of the things that pops up when you search your name now. I was just wondering if you uh, had any response. Of course, you answered some of these questions in our interview already, but any direct response for, from somebody that's kind of dismissed you so thoroughly without really knowing too much about you seemingly? Well, I think uh, he is obviously part of the disinformation clan. Uh, whether he's being paid to do that sort of thing or not, only he would know. I'm not surprised. I haven't seen it. I'm not even the least bit interested in looking at it because I've got better things to do with my time. But I've been telling the truth for the last 12 years. And that's the reason that there are some people who don't want the truth to be told, who have to say that I don't know what the score is. Well, they're absolutely wrong. I have probably made the odd mistake. We're all human. And I might have said one or two things that were misstatements inadvertently. But basically, everything in my book is true. In my books, both the first one on the subject and the broad subjects the light at the end of the tunnel, the survival plan for the human species, and the latest one, the money mafia, a world in crisis. They are legitimate efforts to let the people know what is going on and to sidetrack all of the liars and all of the government employees and all of the journalists who are being paid by government agencies who are out there to misinform rather than to level with the people the way they should be if they were responsible citizens. So forget him. Um, he is in his own way like NASA trying to misinform rather than to inform and you can get the straight goods from my books and when I make a YouTube if there's a fluff in it forgive me but it will be as legitimate and as honest and as straightforward as I can possibly make it. And do I make a lot of money out of it? No. I haven't, to the best of my knowledge, ever broken even on a book. And I've written 14. If I have, I'd, it would, you know, pe peanuts. Because, and most of them have cost me money, some of them thousands of dollars to get out there. But I have a responsibility as a citizen of my country and of the world to try and alert people to how they're being misinformed by people like that and by agencies like NASA and the United States shadow government and the United States government in a way that is not only detrimental to their understanding and their perhaps actions but could be fatal if they don't get the truth from someone. And you're also in your 90s, you're financially secure, and you're putting your reputation on the line by speaking on these subjects. So obviously, you, it's something you truly believe in. Absolutely. I mean, why? I'm, I just celebrated my 94th birthday, and I have plenty to eat. I help quite a few people who don't and will continue to do so while I have the resources. I am not financially dependent on book selling. I've 
seldom get more than a very small honorarium if I speak anywhere. I think maybe one expe exception, uh, speaking to a financial group, which was, uh, I mean, a good investment of my time. But my problem, I, I don't even normally, and I have difficulty with this, take in enough money to pay the expenses of my office. And I've had to put my own money in in order to keep up my campaign of trying to let the people really know what's going on.